With Zimbabwe's economy further damaged by the pandemic, patrolling its biggest game reserve is a challenge to make up shortfalls in funding. Drones are now being used in Wange National Park. It covers an area of more than 14,000 square kilometers, approximately half the size of Belgium. Game wardens say these drones are proving effective where there aren't enough boots on the ground. We are glad that we received these drones. They have enhanced our work and the, the quality of the pictures that we take in the event that we find illegal activities is crystal clear. And in terms of area coverage, we have increased the area coverage. So it's a plus, it can do a work that can be done maybe by three, four, five rangers in a split of like uh, 20 to 30 minutes. One challenge faced by rangers is the limited flying time of the drones. They can only stay in the air for about half an hour with a range of roughly 16 kilometers. Conservationists say Zimbabwe is home to about 800,000 elephants. That's around a fifth of Africa's total population. In recent years, poachers have used cyanide to poison elephants, birds and other animals in this national park. Wildlife officials say poaching activities have declined this year thanks to the use of drones, the introduction of tougher sentences on poachers and a shoot-to-kill policy. COVID-19 travel restrictions have also deterred local and foreign poachers. Yeah, I think the restrictions in terms of movement of people that has actually played a big role in terms of uh, 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 poaching, the curfews, uh, restrictions of movement, roadblocks, this is actually limit the number of people who came to this side because normally most of the people who come they came long 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 distances so from various places according to statistics from the government agency Zimpax this year 20 elephants were killed by poachers down from 30 killings recorded last year and only 8 rhinos down from 29 in 2019 officials say that's a big step towards conservation efforts not just in Zimbabwe but the whole region Harumatasa Al Jazeera Wange Zimbabwe